but this gets most of the big stuff. You've heard of trash to treasure, but trash to high value fuels and biomass pellets? It's carbon neutral and um, tremendous utility. Sustained Technology CEO Peter Vinal says he heard about a guy cooking garbage in Spain back in 2014, so he went to see his pilot plant. I found it remarkable what he was able to do um, with steam as a way of transforming waste and, uh, and making it easy to separate. Within six months, Sustain was launched, but not in a big city with lots of garbage to work with. Chester, Nova Scotia welcomed the idea of reducing landfilling, with Vinall saying the bigger cities had more bureaucracy and limited focus on advanced recycling. So how does it work? Separating the garbage is everything and a major challenge, making burying it the go-to choice. So this is our, uh, the boiler. By cooking it using steam, Sustain found a way to separate the two fundamental components, biogenics, which are things like paper, cardboard, food, and diapers, and plastics. The biogenic part is roughly 50%, the plastics roughly 20%. And those are the most difficult to separate. So, but by using steam, we're able to turn the biogenic part back into fibers. And the plastics that are all different kinds of plastics and different shapes and sizes and densities, at the right temperature and mechanical action, we cause those to shrink into hard pieces. So now we've got hard pieces of plastic and really little fibers. Now we can use pretty much off the shelf technologies to separate and clean. Their unique cooking system called thermohydrolysis uses steam and causes no emissions. Big overhead magnet. Any metals are pulled out using magnets. On the biomass side, the product that gets created is carbon neutral and can be used for combustion, replacing fossil fuel as an energy source. Or it can be used in agriculture as an organic fertilizer once the company obtains certification. On the plastic side, the plastic is vaporized in a closed vessel and then the vapors are condensed. Again, with no emissions, it is separated into a diesel and gasoline type product, which this very plant now runs on. Roughly 20% of the energy in the plastic is enough to run the whole plant and give us a very efficient process, which is needed so that we can compete with landfilling, right? Landfilling is a cheap solution, it's a bad solution, but it's been the solution that has been universal. Vinal says his process delivers between two and three tons of CO2 equivalent reduction per ton of garbage that comes to the plant, as opposed to a landfill. Sustained Technologies was recently named Innovator of the Year by Divert Nova Scotia.